So today I want to talk about skill-based matchmaking and microtransactions and how I feel that they're like destroying the community um, for us OG players. I've been playing Call of Duty for, I don't know, 16, 17 years and there's a couple of videos about this, um, about, you know, skill-based matchmaking and this and the other. I feel like I just need to put my, put my words out there. So used to when you played Call of Duty like you know Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, um, there was no, it was like a mixed bag. So some days you would have a great match, great day, go in there, kill people, have fun, and then sometimes you get in there and get absolutely obliterated. Um, this is, this is part of, you know, this is part of it. So you have a, a sense of like, okay, well I need to get better. Well, now with skill-based matchmaking, it's kind of like, well, you, you you tried, so we're gonna you're doing too good, so we're gonna stick you over here with these people, and so that we keep you all around that one KD, and they feel like that's the best for new players, old players, all that stuff, and I don't really agree with that. But with that, you've got this community of uh, you know, no one left behind or participation trophy as I like to put it with the skill based matchmaking. So, you know, if you're not a great player, that's fine. But then there's no there's no goal for you to strive to. There's no hey, I can get better and I can beat these guys and I can have fun and I can do what they do too. And it just doesn't exist anymore. You can play ranked and you can do all this other stuff and you can try to make your your gameplay better but in the end of the day if you do too good they'll stick you in a lobby with all these sweaty people and you will just get obliterated and ruin your day um, that's just my opinion on that um, and then they have this other thing um, I don't know if it's super true but um, mid-match nerfing I know in Modern Warfare the last one 2019 that they talked about having this thing where if you're doing too good in the middle of a match they'll actually nerf your stats your damage your accuracy so that it's harder for you to kill other players so while the match is going on not just match to match i don't know if that's 100 percent true i can't really find a whole lot of stuff about it um but i, I kind of feel like that's something they would do considering that the uh the recent i don't know if you guys ever if you could check out hall of shame and all the uh YouTube streamers out there that are hacking and all this other stuff. I'm going to make another video about that. But he talks about there is a Activision modifies their accounts so that they can ban people in real time. You know, they do do doop gone. And if they can do that, um, and if they do do that, then it makes no far-fetched thing that they would, you know, set up an algorithm that, hey, if this player's doing this, set this you know they meet this parameter set this off and you do that and then you get this you know call like, oh, man I was five minutes ago I was destroying and now I can't make a shot for my life and I'm like this this not right you know I know what their company they're trying to make money they're trying to put this game out there they're trying to you know do something to keep the community energized and I think that they're going down the wrong road and then that gets me into microtransactions I do not mind games with microtransactions. At least Call of Duty really hasn't done in the mainstream. I'm not talking about Warzone because that's a whole other, whole other ball game. But in the main thing, um, you you don't really get an advantage with microtransactions aside from the skins that are darker um, makes it harder for to see you. But other than that, it's just a cosmetic thing with bullet tracers, which I do like bullet tracing. But $20 for one of these skin packs and the whole game cost you 80 bucks. And then by the end of the year when the new one comes out, you're, you know, you've done spent three, four $400 and that's what they want. They want you to spend more money on a game that you've already paid for. And that's fine if you want to do that, if you have that income and you just feel like, you know what? I want a skin that makes me look like a giraffe or whatever. It doesn't matter. But it's predatory. So then you get your, you know, you go into your match 
and you're having a good time, and then skill-based matchmaking kicks in, and then matchmaking kicks in, your dopamine drip drops down, and what do you do? Well, I mean, I'm not having a good time. Well, maybe I'll go over here and look at the store, you know, kind of take a break for a second, look around, and then you see something, and you buy it, impulse. It's human nature. They've had people, you know, research this, do all this stuff. In a whole, I think that it's just terrible. It's just not something that I like to be a part of. Um, I don't really buy skins. When you get into that stuff, it just it has no effect on your gameplay. They've been doing it for a long time. There's a lot of companies that did it, and I just I feel like it's just going to get worse. You know, they're going to start doing pay to win, which there's a bunch of videos about pay to win. You get certain weapons in the Warzone, which I, I I'm not a Warzone player, so I don't really care about that. Yeah, so that that's in a nutshell my thoughts on the whole skill-based matchmaking and the microtransactions, how they affect the game, and, you know, I just hope everybody enjoyed this little bit of my ranting and maybe got some information they didn't know. If you liked the video, please hit the like, subscribe, drop me a comment, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm going to put some, some other stuff in there, and uh, everybody have a good day.